Just when things as Ravens fans were feeling pretty good, even though we had a few holes on the roster here and there, particularly at cornerback and a little bit at edge and whatnot, but we figured, you know what, we could sign some guys and we could patch that up real quick. We're going to be straight. As long as we got Marlon Humphrey and Rocky Seen back by the regular season, we're going to be A-OK. But now that's looking like it's in doubt because Ravens got probably the most significant bad news of this offseason thus far um, because Marlon Humphrey has an injury. We were watching the practice and they were talking about, oh, Marlon Humphrey, he's not practicing today. I didn't think anything of it. I thought, okay, maybe they just protected Marlon Humphrey a little extra like they've been protecting Ronnie Stanley a lot extra. They've been protecting his ankle, just holding him out of practice. I'm like, okay, I ain't worried about it. But then... This came out from Mike Garofalo. He said, uh, Ravens Pro Bowl cornerback Marlon Humphrey is expected to miss time with an injury that may require a medical procedure. And his status for the start of the season is now up in the air. Sources tell me and Tom Pelissero. So that scares me. That should scare all of us as Ravens fans. This is some of the worst news that the Ravens could possibly get because cornerback is already a super, 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 super extremely thin position for them with so much unknown. Now your best corner, your $100 million corner, the best cornerback that you have on your roster is out for we don't know how long. And see, the thing that got me, the thing that got me with this, the thing that really worried me about this is that it didn't just say week one. It didn't say we. Go, it didn't say oh, Pro Bowl, Mar Pro Bowl cornerback Marlon Humphrey is expected to miss time with an injury that may require a medical procedure, and his status for Week One is now up in the air. It didn't say that. It said his status for the start of the season. So the start of the season could mean a lot of different things. It could mean Week One. It could mean Week Two. It could mean the first four weeks. So this is scary stuff. If you're a Ravens fan, you should be worried. You, you, you really should be, especially with the, the, the cornerback situation right now. It's like we talk about this literally every single, every single year without fail. The cornerback room, they get tested like crazy with injuries every single year. It never fails, ever, never fails. And this year is no different. Now, it is partially good news because it doesn't say that he's going to be out for the year. So we'll, of course, take that all day. But he is going to be missing sometime. How long that is, we don't know. Um, so, and Mike Garofalo just added to it. He said, Marlon Humphrey finished the Ravens joint practice with the Commanders yesterday, but is not on the field today. His status for the foreseeable future is to be determined. That, that makes it even scarier. That makes it even scarier. Because when people talk about the foreseeable future... That could indicate a, a, a long-term type of thing. But, again, he did just say his status for the beginning of the season is up in the air right now. So, now we just got to wait. Now we just got to wait. That, that, wow, that is like, that sucks. This sucks. This is terrible. This is terrible news for the Ravens. Terrible news. Like, terrible. It is not the end-all, be-all, but it is really, really bad. Uh, a lot of us have talked about this offseason. Uh, I've seen a lot of Ravens fans saying it, uh, that they felt like, and this was before the ball and Humphrey injury, they felt like cornerback, cornerback, the way that the cornerbacks was set up even before his injury, like that could make or break the season because uh, injury to here, injury there, and it's rough. It's rough. So, yeah, this is, uh, wow. This is, um, and see, th this puts more pressure on, the pass rush. This puts more pressure on the edge guys, on the outside linebackers, on the defense, on the defensive line. This puts a lot more pressure on them because now everybody behind you just got that much worse. Not calling them bad, but with Marlon Humphrey in there, they are much better. With Marlon Humphrey out there, they're much worse. His impact is huge. Marlon Humphrey can shut down the side of the field. He'll have his hiccups here and there for sure. Uh, but he pretty much can shut down the side of the field. He could take his wide receiver, whether he playing inside, whether he playing outside, he can take his wide receiver out the game. But now he's out the game. So now what are you going to do? Mm. I, 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 and see, the, the scariest part is that we just don't know what it is yet. We don't even know what it is yet. 
That's the scariest part about it. Like, it's not like, oh, Marlon Humphrey got a sprained ankle. Uh, he is expected to miss two to four weeks. Oh, Marlon Humphrey, he's dealing with a hamstring injury. He's expected to miss the next three to five weeks. It, it's not that we don't know what it is. And that's the scariest part, since we don't know. So this could be something minor. This could be something major. But the fact that they're talking about he, uh, it may require a medical procedure. And that's probably the nicest way to put that. That's probably the, like the lightest way to put it. It may require a medical procedure. It might require surgery. That's just being straight up. It may require surgery. But he put it light. Maybe he put it light because... Hopefully, whatever the injury is, it is light. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing too bad. It's nothing too significant, hopefully. And now with Ravens, while we talked about this puts a lot more pressure on the pass rush, on the defensive line, uh, and on the rest of the secondary too, just really on the defense as a whole, um, this also puts more pressure on their offense too. And this, the offense, with Marlon Humphrey being out, Ravens offense just we got to be dependent on them now again they still got some playmakers on the defensive side of the ball but the offense they got to do that much more in my opinion they have to because if the offense and I mean this was even before Marlon Humphrey was out but now with him being out for who knows how long offense really got to step up they got to and it's crazy we talking about the offense having to step up and we didn't even start the regular season yet it's not the regular season yet. But if the offense can put up a bunch of points, rack up them points, man, long drives, rack up points, score, then that can make life for the defense a lot easier. And for as long as Marlon Humphrey's going to be out, who knows how long it's going to be, but that'll make their jobs easier. Um, so we'll see. What I'm hoping uh, happens with Marlon Humphrey, hopefully this is just – uh, it ends up being nothing, um, and it ends up he he can play week one and he'll be completely healthy. Now, what I hope the worst case scenario is is that Marlon Humphrey, uh, if he's out for any amount of time, that they it, his, it's an injury where they carry him on the initial fifty three man roster, uh, and then they just put him on injury reserve after they do the fifty three man roster. That means that he could come back this year. And I would expect that to be the case based off of how Mike Garofalo explained it. Uh, but still, we just don't know right now. But that, that's what I'm hoping is the worst case scenario because um, we don't need it to be any worse uh, than that to where he couldn't be on the roster. But I don't – it doesn't sound like that to be the case, but it's still a big blow, man. This is still a really, really big blow to the Baltimore Ravens, to their not only just their secondary, but just their entire team. Uh, Marlon Humphrey, obviously one of the best players on the team, uh, but also Marlon Humphrey, one of the leaders. He was stepping up as a leader, uh, especially over, really over the past couple of years, not even just this year, but over the past couple of years. Marlon Humphrey just being a lot more vocal, just really stepping into that leadership role because uh, Marlon Humphrey has consistently been a, a really good player, and he's gotten better and better and better. So I don't, I don't think he let up. I don't think he allowed a touchdown. See, that's why this is so significant. Cause like even numbers like that, he he didn't allow a touchdown last year, man. This dude did not give up one single touchdown last year. I believe. I got to double check, but I'm I'm like ninety nine point nine percent sure he did not give up a single touchdown last year. Now that's out for who knows how long. You got somebody that get, ain't give up no points at the cornerback position, one of the hardest positions to play on the field. They ain't give up no points in a whole year, in the whole season. That's crazy. That don't make no sense. That's that's crazy. No touchdowns allowed. That's amazing. So, yeah, man, that's that's that, man. So we'll we'll, we'll see, man. We'll see. We'll see um, how this thing goes. We'll see what happens with Marlon Humphrey. And like I said, one, if I find out anything, I'll let y'all know. I know if y'all find out anything, y'all will let me know. Um, hate to leave on a note like this because, I mean, subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notifications on so so you don't miss the good news and unfortunately you you don't miss this bad news as well so you can stay updated on everything good bad happy sad whatever it is when it comes to our baltimore ravens i love y'all team keep it clean i appreciate y'all so much and like marlon humphrey is for who knows how long hopefully not too long but we out